I'd like to know who you'd like to be today. It's more than organized Monday and we are looking at how to be more you. Um, this is one of my favorite topics actually. And it's something that a lot of people trying to get organized overlook entirely. Um, you complain about how things are and you worry that you'll not be good enough and you can't be perfect. But if you start with who you want to be, who you are, how you want to show up in the world, it takes so much pressure off. So what am I talking about here? It's, you know, we, we hear a lot about striving for balance and wanting to balance work and life. And balance is a juggling thing, right? You can't be even all the time. One thing always gets more attention than the other. And that can provide an opportunity for a lot of kind of anxiety over what you're not getting to. Um, there tends to be a lot of focus on the not dealing with portion. I prefer to think of it more as what's, what can I do to bring myself into alignment so I can show up more myself all the time. Um, you're always yourself, but the best version of you, how to practice being better at things. So Alignment actually comes from who and how you want to be. And it's so much better than the finding balance because it, it makes everything easier. It comes from that place of being aware of, of what you want instead of what's missing. So you're focusing on the aspirational aspect instead of what's out of whack. Um, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. Um, and I find that this framework has really helped me in so many ways. I'm still a recovering perfectionist, but it's so much easier to pull myself out of that and stay motivated. So when you're in alignment, you're automatically going to have less stress. You're going to have easier days and opportunities and possibilities present themselves on an entirely different level um, because you're focused ahead. Uh, what could be what you do have control over, what you can accomplish instead of what's missing and what hasn't been done and all the things, um, right? So it keeps the spin out of it a little bit. I'm a firm believer in when you realize how to tell the difference between want how you want things and how you are being those things, um, it, it all starts coming together. So wishing... Uh, doesn't get it done. Wanting though is desiring things with some action behind them. So being and wanting go together. I desire this. I have to be this way to get that thing or that way of life or that money. Um, so I also don't think you really can want something that is not in alignment with your values and things. Um, that's not to say you can't crave something or lust after something, but wanting that deeper desire is what can pull you through and keep you motivated to do the work needed to get that thing. Um, and if you want that thing, you need to be a person that is being in a way that can attract that thing. So that's what alignment is. It's be showing up how you want to be to be the person that has that thing that you desire, right? Um, you don't just become a comedian by wishing you were funny. You have to actually get up and do the reps and become a, a, a comedian and, and write jokes and that kind of thing. So desire is really about what you can achieve. It's our innate ability to distinguish what we can achieve versus something that, um, so the difference between desire and deserving. Everybody deserves a result of their efforts. Everybody deserves certain basic and alienable rights and those kinds of things. But desire is the achievement of things. And it's what keeps you motivated to keep doing the work needed to, to get there, right? It takes you through the liminal space so that transformation can happen so that you are the change. Um, being, on the other hand, is who and how you show up. Who are you when you show up? Are you 
showing up as prepared and on time as you could be? Or are you showing up as that running late and always frazzled person? Are you showing up as someone who writes every day so that you are a writer? Or are you showing up as someone that's perpetually wishing they could write? See what I'm getting at? You got to do the things to be the person you want to be. And to be the person you want to be will get you the things you desire. It's all connected in that way. Isn't that cool? So show up how you want to be, who you want to be, to get the thing you desire, right? What? Um, <laughs> and of course, there's the silly way of looking at it. I want a diamond ring. Well, what do you have to do to make the money to buy a diamond ring? Or do you just have to find the time to make the call to order the diamond ring? Or to go by the shop? Or do you need to plan a robbery? <laughs> Which one is it, right? That's where the, what do you desire? What's in alignment with who you are? That's where that comes into play. I don't recommend the robbery. It's a lot of planning, a lot of busy work with very high risk. I recommend actually trying to make some money doing something else you like to be able to get that ring as a reward for doing the behaviors that allowed you to make the money to get the ring. See how that works? All connected. All right. Have a delightful day and I will see you again next week.